Hey gang, this is Nick from the future. And in the video you're about to watch, we're gonna play a game where my opponent actually engages in the 18 and a half point trick Joseki, although we don't follow it through. What's interesting is after the game I put it into the robot, the robot actually had a really interesting counter to the traditional, like, traditional quote unquote trick Joseki um, that I'll, I point out in the review later on. But before the game begins, I thought it's nice to give you a little bit of context and show you the 18 and a half point trick Joseki. It's a Joseki I've talked a lot about in this channel in years prior. I haven't really done much in, you know, recent time. Anyway, here it is. Uh, I guess I'll put it in the top corner. That, that's, uh, that's where it looks. Um, and this Joseki is relevant because this is a very robot -y kind of variation right now. Uh, most of the robot moves, of course, are play here or here. These are the two most leading candidates, but the trick Joseki is when black plays here. And the basic pattern, and I do I do show this very briefly and very quickly, but I thought, again, I would take this intro. Uh, you can skip the first few minutes here if you want to dive right into the game, but uh, the, the, we'll say, main line of the trick looks like this. And you can see every move looks quite natural. Uh, it looks like black's going to die. Black's going to take this cut. Still looks like black is going to die. But black is going to ask to cut here. Black is going to threaten to connect underneath. Uh, black is going to play this really dumb looking move. Like it look, it, it, it adds zero liberties to our own group. And we're basically playing into white to make shape. But it's a really cool Tesuji because we get to sacrifice here and get this free Atari now. And now this black net works, or works in the sense that white doesn't have time to push through. White has to come back and capture. And Atari, this Atari forces the capture here, and voila, look at this beautiful wall for black. Just beautiful. So this is the classic trick. And we say it's 18 and a half point trick Joseki because, well, white, teen, white has 18 points and might get this point later. So we say 18 and a half points. Uh, how do we get to 18? Well, we've got 10 here, five uh, stones captured, plus the five spaces left over, plus 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What? It's only the 17, 17 and a half point trick. Just, oh, no. We, 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 there it is. There's an extra stone there. 18, uh, 10 here, seven here, and then the extra stone. That's how we get to 18 and a half points. And this is a trick because this is actually a good result for black. As big as this corner is, like 18 and a half points, that's a huge corner. In Go, you should generally expect a corner, like if you have a good corner, like 10 to 12 points is a good corner. If you end up making a five point corner, that's kind of a sad corner. A 15 point corner is usually a great corner. A 20 point corner is, well, you probably gave up something else somewhere else on the board. And for you, know, you probably tanukied once or twice from if you were the outside player. 18 and a half points, this is, this is astounding, <laughs> right? This is a huge corner for black to not get any free moves elsewhere, just get this outside wall. And so that's what's so cool. Uh, there are some other variations from this. I've, I've seen other robot variations where they actually kind of fight uh, and force a, a larger capturing race down here, um, or even ones where they allow the connection on the outside uh, to take place. Um, but anyway, this, I think, I think at least, at least according to how my robot was feeling today, or I guess, again, this is Nick of the future and like he played the game yesterday, uh, this, uh, the robot just had a very brilliant solution here. So again, stay, you know, just, just from right here. Um, normally, you know, for white, white would play here to be extra solid or here, or even you could push through once and then pull back, do something like that. Um, this is also a, uh, an old variation. Uh, but again, the robots, the robot just had a really nice move. So anyway, hope you enjoy the game. Stay tuned for the review, and and uh, you can add an extra move to your 18 and a half point trick Joseki knowledge when someone plays it against you. I think we got into a game. We are white. Let's play a stone. We're on Taijim. And yeah, everything's good. Now, I feel like we should counter approach here. We'll play a little robot style. Oh man, opponent is just bringing it. Lean. 
Oh, we're playing 18 and a half point trick point, Joseki. I have a, that's so fun. Um, let's just, oh, that move first. Wait, does that work? Yeah, this is the same, okay. All right, use the slightly different move order. Oh, peep first. Is that allowed? I think that's allowed. Yeah, that's good. Um, all right. We didn't play the trick variation, even though the robot says it's not quite as good for black as it's conventionally thought by humans. It's just a moral victory. Uh, this is pincer. It's maybe too close, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Should we play here? Take this honey. All right, everything's going well. How are you guys? You guys excited about play and go? <laughs> oh man, does not give up. Not sure what I'm doing over here, playing, making a fifth line group on his side of the board. This is not a normal go strategy. Uh huh. Uh, I do need to play both these points, huh? Both of these are pretty good. I guess we need that one better. Everyone makes shape. All right. Oh, and he gets to play fifth line, but he already has this side of the board, so... That's pretty good for him. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I want to play a balance move over here. I kind of want to keep the pressure this way. Kind of need to keep the pressure this way. Want to come in here? Want to come over here? Wow, lots, well, there's so many good things to do on this board. Mm. I think, I'm pretty sure this is the wrong one. Like, of all the options, I'm pretty sure this is wrong. But at least I know what's going on in this game. <laughs> Where I have one half eye. And he's going to keep pressuring from that side. Pretty reasonable. Oh, is this, is this an exchange I should ever make? Probably. Hmm. Let's just ask. Like, this is a good exchange. And ask again? Probably not yet. All right. But we're playing this one because we want to play this move. Or at least threaten this move. That's probably the better way to put it. Uh, are we? This is this is the scared of the Hane variation. This is the okay. He's not going to do it, so we don't have to be scared. Hooray! All right, now that he's sort of strengthened this, let's lean over here. We still have some mischief. Okay, it's taking away mischief. We no longer have mischief. Mm, I want mischief though. Oh. We're going to play that way. Okay. Uh huh. As is your right. All right. It's pretty big. Can I play here? Feels like it. <laughs> Let's not do any reading and just say yes. It feels like it, and assume that it works. Oh dear. Oh man. Oof. Hot dog. Like how my opponent took no time to read this either. He was just all about playing here. He was so ready to play here. Uh, any other variations? Looks like we just cut and go to a capturing race that I win. So, looks fine. Oh, but here is problem. I do need to take this at some point, which is kind of a big deal because I should have the ladder and I don't play this way. All right. I'm gonna connect there. Oh, I know I have, I, it's good. Yeah, I do have a letter. It's good enough. Okay. This is looking like a giant Seki. Oh no, but I, have an, I can make an eye here and I can threaten more in the corner. All right. Actually, this is looking better and better for white. 
Black will get a huge influence in the center. I think Black's going to capture here and then fight for a Seki, but I think the Seki doesn't work, so I kill this. But Black prof got so much profit that it probably doesn't matter. That's my reading of the rest of how this is going to play out. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's going to take a shape point. This is kind of big. This is big. He has a lot of influence now. All right, we should be able to win. The very least is Seki, but Seki really isn't good enough. As mentioned, this move doesn't really threaten enough. I'm just saving stones, but... I guess I'm also threatening to come in here. Let's play it. This is a really good shape point. Yeah, actually, no, it's too slow for black, right? Black would much rather... Hmm. Okay. This is where... Black tries to make a Seki. Mm-hmm. I probably shouldn't take away that liberty. That was probably not the right idea. But that's fine. Okay. Uh, and then he has to connect here. To make a Seki. Oh, maybe I can, I can play this first. Right, this just wins. All right, because there's no eye here for black. I make an eye. There's no eye here for black. Is there mischief? There's mischief here. Do I care? Eh. So let's make the eye. Make the eye, collect our kill, and then worry about the center, top, and left. <laughs> Am I right? Yep. I'll love you if you push here. I'll love you if you push here, Mr. or Mrs. Opponent. You should probably cut here. I think. Cutting on that side, okay. Oh, now you push, okay. Pretty good, yep, okay. Good order. Good order. Okay, mm we're always alive. We can just play this. Kinda come through. Do I want to come through? This seal's real small, though. It's not really running. Let's take a big point. This kill's not big enough. <laughs> is it like, how big is this group? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We killed a ten stone group, but Black got so much compensation here at the bottom and all the thickness in the center. That move we're fine with. Let's just ask about the corner. Say, hey, can I have your corner? And Black might actually say yes, because of this influence. Nope, Black says no. Okay, that works for us. <laughs> we don't want to be too committed to these stones here. This is this is the... We actually kind of want to dare Black to kill them. But how? Look like this. Makes it too easy. Let's play low. We want to say, come eat our two stones. You can have a giant right-hand corner. That's what we want. Mm, just pincer. Oh. All right, that's a little bit new. Let's just stay strong. Can I play here and play here? That looks good. I'm going to build a top, a giant top left. Mm. So... I apologize for not getting a game on this past week. I actually were, tried to record a game uh, to upload, and it was a co it was a total calamity of errors. Like my camera stopped working, and I was like, "Okay, well, I'll pause it and I'll 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 just finish the game out because I'd already recorded like half of it, um, and I'll do get it and review it." But then the server like went down for updates. <laughs> uh, is this is gonna be a giant co. This feels like a giant co. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not a giant co. We still need to play here or here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this week. Uh, server went down for updates and couldn't finish the game anyway. So here we are. We're, this is this is before work this morning, which is oh, I don't really play Go like before work. That's not really a thing I do. So this is kind of an experiment. It's going to take this peep. That seems too dangerous. That seems too much, right? I think that's too much. Uh, so this is yeah our pre-work game, trying to get one recorded and uploaded. Wish me luck. Yeah, he's gonna play there. All right, so I want this one, I want this one, I want this one, I want this one. <laughs> this is the problem with Go. Hmm. This only makes one eye. But it's a pretty key point. Pulls back. This makes one and a half eyes. <laughs> so that's pretty good. We got one and a half eyes. Uh, L plus one group. <clears throat> if you don't know your uh, your L groups, definitely go back and, I don't know, search my old videos for L groups. Because it can make some of those life and corner life and death problems so much easier, at least just instant calculations instead of uh, you know having to read everything out. All right, this is looking pretty alive. Oh, this is might not be sente. Okay, my opponent thinks it's sente. That's good enough for me. Um, and we can play another move here, right? Because disconnecting, I can make an eye. If he pops out eyes, I can disconnect. So we can play very solid. That seems. Reasonable. This seems cooler. Uh, I like this one better. This is. This looks like a very nice shape. And feels like it's still a game. Um, so over here, if we got a twenty plus another almost ten, four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, like like this is like a thirty point kill here. That's this is exactly what we wanted, right? We wanted our opponent to sort of waste time over here. Trying to kill these two stones. Ooh. Can I play here? I, I kind of can. This is... Feeling pretty good. Why shouldn't I play this? Guys, why shouldn't I play this? Oh, he'll extend there. I'll get an eye. But he'll have to crawl this whole way. I think we should play it. Mm-hmm. Okay, he played the, re there's, there's like the, the, you know, batshit crazy variation when he comes and just crawls all along the second line here. Uh, honey, honey looks good. This is, even though this is, was super thick for black, we're just going to try to over concentrate it. And if this, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, if he just worries about defending here, I'm going to get so many points in the corner. We're going to feel, it's going to feel real nice for white. Real comfortable. We'll have big territories to match. Anyway, let's uh, go back to counting a little bit of score. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight by four. So there's about 30 points. And say add that on as Comey. So basically the kill here plus Comey is worth what I have at the bottom. So that means we've got a clear 15 in this corner. Plus maybe another 15, up to 15 here. So we gotta find 30 points between this sort of corner, let's say 25 points. I gotta find 25 points in this area, which seems reasonable, especially after the fact that I have this stone here. That seems very reasonable. Okay, it's gonna, are you gonna fight this way? Or are you just gonna take your, oh wow. He's, he's fighting, much fighting. Hmm. Not sure if that was the right connection, but I don't really want to give him another peep. Oh man. Oh man. All right. Um, is this just mutual destruction? Is that what we're promising here? He's just going to give me this. That seems that seems pretty good. Um, but I have, like, like he's he's really leaning on this thickness. 
real hard. And he's got to remember that there are weaknesses here as well. Oh, man. How much time? I got six seconds. In All right, let's think for the extra six seconds. Let's take it. I mean, Overtime countdown has begun. I mean, yeah, we want this, right? At some point, I have to kind of worry about my top group. Like at this point, this would be the point where I have to worry about such a thing. Um, but I can take this. No, I can't take this. This doesn't actually work. Oh, it kind of works because I have this. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I have this move too. So if I can play here, then this starts to get baller. <laughs> we like baller moves. Right, because this move threatens this, it threatens this, and threatens the two eyes of the whole thing. Triple, triple threat right here. Key point. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes it, just given the, the style, the types of moves he's been playing. He or she has been playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good, too. Um, but I'm okay with that because it makes, it makes this cut work. So I should still play here. Dun, dun. Hane, I don't care. All right, I just start capturing race. Maybe I do care. <laughs> In retrospect, killing these four, not as big as saving all this. Of course, he's not connected either. Um, so he still needs to play a move here. Okay. How about we threaten once? Okay. He anticipated that. <laughs> This seems like it doesn't, it's too short of liberties. Do I just play this? Take my points? It feels lame. Nine, eight, seven, Here's better. Six, five, four, three. Here's a little better. Hmm. Really? Is this a thing? Hmm. Okay, it's a thing. It's a thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is not really a thing, so we can just play there. Okay, you can, yes, you can have all these things. They're not really things. Oh, but it makes this double Atari. I see. I see. All right. Does this help me launch any invasion? No. <laughs> There's no way to fix this, so... I don't know if this is big enough. I kind of played that a little too reflexively. Um, but we picked up some points here. Is it big enough? 30? Let's see. I had to come up with about 30, right? Is what we decided. So that's about 20. Pretty solid 20. Okay, this is good, though. Well, it's not that good. It's really actually quite small, but still. You're going to cut now? Now is when you cut? Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to live in here. I get all that. All right, that's good. Oh, okay. I can play here again. Does he have time? I don't think he has time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's it's hard. <laughs> How many biomies? I got three biomies. I'm sure this is the correct move, right? But oh man, 
It's the we didn't get bad. Yeah, I should just I should just played here. All right, we're gonna play here because I don't think this quite works. It looks like he has enough liberties and strength here. Um, oh, but oh man, I still have this little Aji. <laughs> so that's cool. Alright, we'll respect that. Uh, how are we doing on time? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Just gonna come back and play there. Very reasonable. Should we play this one? This one? This one? I don't know. This one. Probably this one. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, maybe this one first. I give him some extra cuts, kind of, but... Okay. Play there, and then we'll play here. Yeah, it feels like the end game got real small, real fast. As it always does. I wonder if this saving this stone is big enough. Well, he says yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. So if I save this stone, is he gonna play another one up there? Does he have? Oh, yeah. You can. You can. Poke in here and play this one. Nine, That's real annoying. Eight, All right, we'll we'll follow up. <laughs> that's big. That's big. Oh yeah, that's big. All right. Do do do. Big. There's a big move here too. This is probably actually worth like four or five points. It's deceptively large. Yeah, because I, I end up with a lot, because he has these three stones, I have a lot of bad Aji in here <laughs> that he can basically take advantage of in Sente. So. Uh, it certainly looks like this is equal to or larger than this, and then this is equal or larger to whatever scraps he has here plus this. So I think this is a one game. Oh, what happened? Why is the time not going? He must. Oh, resigned. Nick Sib one. Yeah. Okay. Good. So the game's over. Awesome. Uh, let's throw this in a robot and see what lessons there are to be learned. All right, and we're back. And I think we should title this video Defeat the 18 and a half point trick Joseki because in my little review here, the robot had sort of a brilliant idea, a sequence I'd never really seen before, uh, at least in any other Joseki patterns that, that um, is, you know, I've, I've looked at. And so it's totally worth sharing and maybe even making this the highlight of the video. If you've followed this channel for a long time, you know the 18 and a half point trick Joseki is one of my most favorite Josekis, and we play it here. Typically, how this is traditionally going to work, this is the trick move. Um, when white pushes here, the sequence goes like this. And everything looks very normal. Uh, like, it, it, you know, it, it just looks normal. <laughs> Um, white place here to capture the corner, and that's the trick. <laughs> Is we make all these exchanges, and then we play this really awkward looking push and cut, but it gets us this extra tar in the outside to net, and then our opponent has to capture. Uh, whose move is it? <laughs> oh, sorry, white's move. Yep, 
and it looks like this. And so this is 18 and a half points in the corner. There's your half point. We don't know who's going to get that point yet. And black gets this amazing wall. That's like the classical result from the 18 and a half trick point Joseki. And man, as a Go player, I love having walls like this, like two sides, just as solid as a... I can't think of anything solid. Um, <laughs> but you get the idea. That's the classical variation. Um, but the move that the robot is suggesting here is instead of white for pushing directly, is to just play this... Oh, let me uh, give it a pass pass. Um, is to play here and basically ask black first. At this point, what are you going to do? And black has the choice to fix, but then white can either extend or even potentially play here if there's any other support. Or maybe if there's actually a lot less support, you also play here. So depending on the situation, I think this is perhaps slightly better in just this more open board state. Um, but when white needs to either be more severe or uh, more compromising, right, you play the more severe move. But in the open board, you play a little more solid. Uh, and this is fine. Like, white white is fine. Black is actually kept very low. Um, black has some Aji here, but right now white's in control of this, this bottom right-hand side. Why is Florida calling me? Oh, man, my phone is just going crazy today. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is a cool... Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is a cool variation. Now when black plays here... Um, and we play, if, if, black, if, uh, if black tries the Joseki, the trick Joseki, that is, uh, it really doesn't work as well. Because in this case, white's actually going to Atari this way, and then just play here. And there is a, normally this is the move white has to worry about this cut. And indeed, white still has to worry about it. But if white can get, I think, I think white needs six liberties... Uh, then white can come back here and play this. And again, this works because white has this number three stone in place, this three for four exchange. Uh, in this case, of course, black still actually has a, there's a, I missed a tempo move because white always has this ladder here too. So um, after black fixes the ladder, white will should always have time to come back and um, play this corner. So anyway, this is, this is the, just a cool response. I'm going to play this from now on. <laughs> This is the cool way to defeat the 18 and a half trick point in Joseki with sort of a trick move of your own. Um, in this case, of course, black shouldn't, uh, you know, continue forcing the trick Joseki. And if white plays this way, black should take the outside. Um, and white should fight a little bit, like so. Um, is this better? I guess white actually has a legitimate choice here. White could take the outside, but I think the corner is just bigger and better. Um, that's a nice corner for white. And actually, you know, let's let's uh, turn on here. Yep, here, here, and then yeah, probably here. And continue. Any other variations? Uh, that looks like the robot's favorite one. Here, 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 and then these are optional, or or even Tanuki, which is fascinating. I'd be I'd be really hard pressed not to play another move over here. Um, although I guess this starts a weird fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very fighty. Um, Black needs to defend this cut, so move like that, and then there's a fight over here. So the fight continues on, um, and it's pretty severe. It's a pretty severe fight. But what's interesting is that it doesn't need to be continued on right now. All right, so let's disable that. Anyway, so headline, if you're a fan of the 18 and a half trick point Joseki like myself, uh, be on the radar for this move to basically get yourself out of it. Um, so that's very cool. I've seen old Josekis with robot, uh, before robots that recommended this move, which does a lot of the same thing, except it's nowhere near as severe against this stone. Like this move or this move have been sort of like the tr more, we'll say very bookish traditional counters to it. But what's interesting is that even the books acknowledge like if white ends up playing a move like this as the counter, it's not really that much of a counter. Like black still gets a good result, um, which is why we need to come up with something a little more severe. So good job, robot. Showing us the way. Anyway, in the game, we play this out partially. I play here. The robot says again, play here at this point. Um, and after this, Robot doesn't like that as much as just, you know, playing up here, which makes sense. 
Um, the reason why I played lower is because in my mind, this if, if black cuts through here, then I, I have the same problem and now I have a higher stone. Whereas if I have a low stone, I can still link to it. But I, I really shouldn't be so scared of this because I still have weaknesses um, to exploit on the left side. So I don't really care if black cuts through. I have tempo. Um, and here, this is all fine, except this cut, again, should be here. And I'll just show you what that looks like. It works very similarly to clamping, except a little bit uh, stronger. Um, if you anticipate this move for black, white can actually double Hane here, and that's a really cool move. Very, very cool move. You can see the cuts and the capture threat are all very real on all sides. So I missed this shape point. This is, uh, this is the key cutting point. I got way too distracted by this stone and fixated. Um, so this is kind of a big minus. And, like, white's still fine, but it is a winning game. This is a winning position for black from here. Uh, and just like in the game, uh, or at least that I mentioned in the game, during the game, uh, this is one of those games where, where black actually managed to lead early on. Um, and even here, yeah, this is very sad for white to play this way. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, I think this is even better. But um, up through here, black has a nice position. Um, black's weak group is pretty much has a little bit of shape. Um, black's making some territory. White has the weakest group on the board. So this is all very nice for black. All right, here at this point in the game, I said there were lots of things for white to do, and indeed, this was the worst one. This was on, it was on the top candidate list, but it's still like a two-point loss, whereas, you know, just turning here or coming up here or even pushing here, these are all better moves. Um, so, or even playing this exchange, also good. Um, would be good timing. So again, worst move, still in the top candidate choice, but just literally doing anything else to help out the, uh, the weak group here would have been more valuable. As predicted. Uh, Robot actually liked my move here. I don't think it was the top choice, but it liked it perfectly fine. Ask for this Aji first. Because um, it just prevents white from doing anything, or sorry, black from doing anything too severe. And then here, uh, er Robot hated everyone. Robot just wanted someone to come play here. <laughs> just, just This is weak group versus weak group. You have to take initiative here whenever possible. It doesn't matter what happens in the corner. And so after this exchange again, Robot didn't want white to play again, just come up here. And when black gets the first move, black is still in control of this game. Like, black is leading this game. I'm not sure if you saw the little scoring graph at the beginning of the game, but um, basically up through, I'll show you the point where, uh, the point until black was leading, and then it sort of flipped to what, what once white, once white got control, uh, basically center managed the weak groups, it was white's game and just built up momentum through the end to get about a, at the, at the end, where, where Black resigned, White actually had about a 35-point lead, so a lot bigger than I let on uh, during the game. Here, apparently, Roat says this is better, but... Um, here, I want to show you the cool... Or, maybe not the cool, but just the obvious move that I miss to, to settle this. I'm doing all this crawling business. I shouldn't be crawling here. Just Atari. Here, let me get those stones off the board. Uh, this Atari is just nice. Like, it's just nice because I can extend. And in the game, I was a, I was scared of this. I was like, oh, I'm going to get Atari, and I should, you know, poke at Black's shape first more. But the problem is that Black's in a ladder right now. So if Black comes out, let's say a move like this, well, I have a move like this, and I can just sort of surround. Uh, and that's fine. Again, this, this is still a fight. Black actually uh, isn't guaranteed to win this capturing race. It looks like it's one eye to half an eye. Um, so it very likely could be Saki. But, again, it's... Everything Everything is... Like, I, I'm, I'm building the outside, right? I'm getting stronger on the outside. Um, so this would have been fine. Instead, uh, if the robot did something... And this is, works the same way. This probably works even worse. <laughs> Um, for black, if black, yeah, black really can't do a lot here, it turns out. Um, if black, bl I mean, black has to save these, right? And so let's see, if black plays here, um, black could just, it kind of has to keep running, but then white's out, and we're just continuing the fight. And if it goes like this, you know, fight on. And so not a bad fight for white. 
even though black got a lot of points at the bottom, um, black still has some potential cuts. And there's a weak black group here that work, black has to work hard to, to not just get captured outright. And also, for that matter, white actually made a little bit of territory on the right that's reasonable. So this was a, a, a missed opportunity for white to fight a little bit more on, on white's terms. Uh, after the Satari, yep, the capture. Uh, I think the robot says this would have been slightly better. And this is this is more what I... In the game, I kind of pause and look at these two possibilities. Um, certainly, Black has to expect to get eaten, but at least the big group lives and can potentially counterattack a little bit on the right. And there's still Lateraji. It's all, it's all reasonable. So the game probably should have gone more like that. Um, but after here, uh, you know, this, this game is pretty firmly in White's hands at this point. This, this capture is big enough to swing the direction. And all these moves that we play on the left and top left are kind of, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a loss. This was not good shape. I was way too worried about that. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't need this move. <laughs> um, lots of little point losses here. This, this capture is correct in resp after, after this exchange is made. Capturing here just to guarantee one eye versus no eye is absolutely correct. And one other thing, um, really good go proverb, cut on the side you don't want. So which side would black rather have? In this case, black would rather have the, the capture over here on this side. So black, of course, should play this side to start. And black violated that rule. Um, which actually made this group much more easily settled. I would have had a little bit more of a trouble um, if black played here first. Because if I play this connection, all right, the outside shape looks the exact same, but now there's actually not, not a, a captured stone in here, right? There's not a panuki shape. It's a little bit more tricky for white to make eyes. And so if black gets some more strength in here, uh, black could essentially force a no-eye group versus two one-eye groups. And that is significant <laughs> because then everybody's alive. That goes back to Seki. So, little mistake here by Black. It's a good go proverb. Uh, and then here, Probot says, yeah, don't, don't overreach. Just <laughs> ask for this point. Um, although it's very happy. Again, the robot's so happy with the white position now. Um, after this, the robot, after, after this move, like, all the moves are worth the exact same. That's, which is very funny. Like, kicking, pincering, all, everything was worth the same. Just do something on that side. Uh, over here, there's a little bit of... A shape point here that the robot liked, but no one played it. <laughs> like it just never got played. Like it just oh finally, finally there's the shape point. The very last move. Um here, yeah, that's another shape point. There's a better move. This was too slow, even though it looked so nice. Uh robot says here. And this looks very nice to your eye once you see it. Um basically if black cuts, um we can deal with it. <laughs> right? We can actually go on the counter offensive. Um, and just let there be a cut and just fight. And so this is too defensive. Uh, robot says, oops, this is better than, the cross cut is better than the Hane, but they're pretty similar. Um, at least in some of the variations. And here, again, I don't need to Hane. I don't, I don't need to ask for that much. I can just extend. So a little bit overplay here. This is too much for black to ask for. My, my connection here was correct, which I was very happy about. It's more, it's worth not giving black this peep. It's worth more to do to prevent that than this peep. So I was very happy. <laughs> like it's so some of those sometimes those very simple little subtle things. Like what are you trying to prevent? But here, uh, I should just keep extending. Or actually, actually, no, no, sorry. At this point, I should just capture. This is a good. Um, the thing, the thing I kept thinking was like, oh, black will come up and around and short my liberties. No, I just counter cut, and black has a real nightmarish time dealing. Um. I mean, the thing is here, this this kind of, if I just capture, that is, um, works fine for black. Like, black is happy enough. And I just kind of assume the same principle applied after three, and it really doesn't. Totally different situation. I have the liberty to just capture. Um, but after this point, uh, I shouldn't come back. Um, I should mess with this group, basically, instead of, you know, capturing a few extra stones here. And same thing here. Um, after black extends here, just extend again. Black still needs to work so hard to come back here and, and make life. I don't need to I don't need to capture these four stones, right? This is alive and this can connect out. 
Um, yes, it's it's points. It's you know arguably up to ten points, and I like having an extra ten points, but it's just not that needed. Um, and meanwhile, this is totally worth keeping more pressure on the group that needs to live over here. I can come back and capture these if I really want an extra ten points whenever I want. Uh, so. Uh, overall, the rest is, is pretty small endgame. Um, and, you know, white, white just makes up a few more points, a few more points, a few more points here, there. And, uh, by the time, like I said, black resigned, it ended up being a pretty sizable win. So anyway, that's the game, and that's the counter to the 18 and a half point trick Joseki. Uh, try, try it out. <laughs> I mean, if you play, if you get, if you encounter that move, it's pretty fun. Um, so... You know, I don't think most of you are playing the 18 and a half point trick, Joseki. Um, but if we go all the way back, it's still pretty... Oops, not that one. Uh, it's a, it's an important concept, right? If you, if you need, if you are getting drawn into a really severe, you know, solid shape fight over here, uh, you know, lean, lean in the east to make noise in the west. So that's the basic go proverb principle we've applied. I hope you've enjoyed this game. I'll see you next time. Happy going.